my name is vikas gorav and welcome back to my channel call cognition learning center for all so friend today i'm going to teach you how to call a cut list in drawing and how to fill a cut list property in weldment so let's start with the drawing so as you can see uh, this is a structure and which is made in weldment so this is having two different parts each having four four quantity so let's start with the drawing okay fine go to new file drawing okay and we can select a size a3 a4 or whatever you want so here i'm selecting a3 okay fine now we can call that weldment on this drawing so go to view layout and model view and here we have a table structure select this and drag and drop okay now we can see adjust the size of the seat so here i am selecting one is to one which is very big so again one is to two now it's look good select this and give this a real color or shade okay fine now it's look good okay now go to annotation select this and weldment cut list select this weldment okay so as you can see here there is no such property appear as a cut list because we haven't filled all the properties in the weldment so we need to fill that property which is going to appear in this cut list so let's start with that so open this filament okay now we can see we don't have the material assigned for this filament to first assign the material select this right click and we can edit the material so okay here i'm going to assign aisi 304 which is weldable material and which is used for structure fine and you can give the appearance according to your choice so here i'm selecting this color okay fine now we can go to cut list right click property you can see there is no property for that cut list part so we can assign and we can create this template also so here which is already created so i can select whatever i wanted to so here description and part number is important so first i'm going to select description weldment and i can give the name for that part here i'm giving tube one again i'm going to select the part number weldment and here i'm going to assign a part number so one two double zero for this tube one okay fine now again same select this right click property okay again we have already a template so here description weldment and i'm going to give this as a tube 2 again select part number weldment and i'm going to give this part as 1201 okay fine save this okay now open the drawing for the weldment so now you can see it is appeared which we have filled in that filament part so as you can see so we need to adjust this first in a proper manner okay fine okay great now it's look good as you can see so quantity 4 4 item 1 2 tube 1 2 tube 2 1200 and 121 and this is the length of the tube which is also included in the cut list save this in a particular folder okay fine we can also give this a ballooning so here i'm selecting auto ballooning first as you can see the balloon appears if you don't like this auto ballooning we can delete this and we can give 
simple ballooning so we can select this edge or this tube okay and this one so now it's look good in a proper arrangement so this is a multiple choice if you want auto ballooning or normal ballooning you can select according to your convenience okay now it's look good so this is the end of this video so please if you like this video please like comment and share and please do subscribe my channel called cognizant thank you thank you friends thank you very much for watching this video